A study has just been published in EPJ Data Science suggesting that doctors might be able to use a patient's Instagram posts in order to help diagnose them with depression. As a person with crippling depression who mainly uses Instagram to post pictures of my happy puppy, I found this very intriguing and wanted to know more. And sure enough, it turns out that the number one sign of depression in Instagram users is posting pictures of happy puppies. Okay, no, not really. Uh, researchers at Harvard and University of Vermont teamed up to first analyze the Instagram photos of people with depression and people without de depression in order to create an algorithm based on the trends that they found. They then applied that algorithm to a new set of Instagram posts and found that it was pretty good at sorting healthy people from depressed people. I say pretty good. I really mean that. Uh, some media outlets are reporting on this as though the algorithm was perfect or even spectacular. It wasn't. It was pretty good. Uh, in fact, it was only able to identify one third of the people who had depression. But when it did identify someone with depression, it was right 54% of the time. Doctors are currently estimated to be right only about 41% of the time. So that's a significant increase uh, over doctors who apparently are having a lot more false positives diagnosing people with depression when those people don't actually have depression. The algorithm was better than doctors at doing that. Uh, when the algorithm identified someone as healthy, it was right 84% of the time. So really, the headline should more accurately state that your Instagram can show you if you're healthy, not necessarily if you're depressed. I know, statistics are weird and confusing sometimes. Uh, so what is it about depressed people's Instagrams that stand out? Well, the researchers found that depressed people were more likely to favor darker pictures, uh, blue and gray colors, and low saturation. They found that depressed people were less likely to use filters, but when they did use a filter, they were more likely to choose the black and white inkwell filter. Uh, they also found that depressed people were more likely to have faces in their photos, but less likely to have a lot of faces in their photos. Uh, the researchers think that this is due to depressed people have sm having smaller social circles. It could also imply that depressed people maybe take more selfies, but the researchers didn't look at selfies, so that remains to be seen in future research. Uh, remember that the whole point of Instagram and other social media networks is to pretend like your life is way better and more interesting than it actually is, which is what makes this, I think, a particularly interesting study because the algorithm wasn't looking at the photo subjects to see who was posting pictures that a human might label as sad or depressing, which means that the algorithm may be able to detect depression in someone who is usually pretty good at hiding it. An algorithm like this will never be perfect, but it is interesting that something so simple can, in one respect at least, be slightly better than a human doctor, especially when it comes to an illness that a patient might even lie to a doctor about having in order to avoid being detected. That's a thing people with depression do sometimes. Uh, that doesn't mean that machines are ready to replace doctors or that they ever will, but it's worth noting that this is a potential new tool to help doctors diagnose an illness that can be very difficult to recognize. As of now, there's no blood test or x-ray that will tell you if someone's depressed, but maybe this is the first step towards developing a social media test that can at least detect some warning signs.